Hi, my name is Nick Stasoulis and I'm a hydrologic technician with the main office of the New England Water Science Center. In this video, we will review the process for setting up a connection between an ADCP and the TRDI Section by Section Pro software. Before opening the software, it's a good idea to set up the ADCP and get it ready for the measurement, making sure the battery is connected and unit is turned on. The exact process of connecting to the ADCP will vary depending on whether you are using Bluetooth, radio modems, or a direct connection. Given the large number of possibilities when it comes to communicating with EDCPs, we will not cover each scenario in this video. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will assume you have set up the ADCP and communication devices. In the software, select Configure and ADCP Port Settings. In the dialog that appears, select the COM port you are using to connect to the ADCP and the baud rate of the connection. Typically, you won't need to change the parity or stop bits. To check if your settings are correct, click the Test button, which will send a break to the ADCP, causing the ADCP to identify itself if the connection is set up correctly. You can also change communication settings from the New Measurement Wizard. Click Check ADCP in the Wizard, and if the communication port settings are not correct, you have the option to change the settings by clicking Set Port. If the connection is established, the ADCP information will be populated automatically. While this is only a brief introduction to changing communication settings in the TRDI Section by Section Pro software, there is much more detailed information, especially for establishing connection to an ADCP with Bluetooth, in the Section by Section Pro User Guide.